Welcome to Low Budget Reviews of Street Fighter 3, the 20th anniversary. This is Ron Moore, along with Young V. Hey, this is uh, Young V, uh, Brian. And Young B is a professional Street Fighter 3 player. Yeah, I wouldn't say professional, I'd say more like a hobby, like a side hobby. Uh, I put more time into this game than any other game uh, that I've played. Yeah, you've been to several of these Street Fighter 3 tournaments, is that right? Yeah, uh, just, just the one recently. I, I was at Spring Series in, Dallas, in uh, Arlington, Texas um, at Free Play Arcade. And it was a huge uh, turnout for this game and uh, Street Fighter 2 Super Turbo. Yeah, I remember uh, last year when I uh, they had the Super Turbo, right? Some people from all, all, all over the world came to the Free yeah. Play Arlington Arcade. Um, Japan, uh, that was the biggest, that was the part of this one. Uh, Canada, uh, all over the US. Uh, there's some people from Mexico. Okay, so yeah, you can pick three different super arts for each character. Akuma has five actually. There are two hidden supers, um, but you can only pick one from this selection. So I went ahead and picked the super fireball. Wow, so this is the Japanese version. Yeah, this is the Japanese version, so you know, we both don't understand Japanese, so just bear with us. Yeah, oh, Devon Dudley now against Akuma. Shosh! So yeah, I'm just, I'm trying to make the game as entertaining as possible. I'm trying to land uh, certain types of combos. And this is my, my main character, Akuma. Yeah, Dudley looks like the, the Pringles guy. Right. They got an African American Pringles guy against Akuma. I was never good at Street Fighter 3. Uh, I, I, for some reason, I can't uh, parody or parry or whatever it's called. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so also, uh, this game's mechanics, you can parry uh, any kind of move, normal, super move, by hitting, uh, by tapping forward once or down if it's a low move. Yeah, and I was never, that's why I got Brian in this review with me. I'm not an expert at Street Fighter 3 at all. Uh, people like him, Venom 22, The Unknown, and, and other people back in the day. My older videos from 2007, they're the ones that's good at this game. And I'll put a link in the description box below of some of our old tournament battles that were pretty fun back in the day. Yeah, yeah, those were good times back then. Also, uh, like most other fighting games, you can taunt. Uh, you can throw. What is that? Yeah. So also, in arcade mode, you can select what characters you want to fight. Kind of like selecting a super art. So there's a lot of ways you can customize uh, who you're playing against and how you're playing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Kind of like choose a path. I guess it kind of alters the storyline a bit. Yeah, you don't really alter the storyline, you just kind of play whoever you want to play. Yeah, I remember that video where somebody parried all of Chun-Li's uh, uh, Chun kicks right, right. with Ken. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was the famous uh, Evo moment 47, uh, Daigo versus Justin Wong. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, I remember Angel telling me about those two. Yeah, that was a pretty big moment for video games and fighting games. Yeah, that was a uh, Evo, I believe it was Evo 2007. So again, I'm trying to style out with some combos, and that one didn't land. So Akuma's your favorite character to play as, right? Yeah, Akuma, any Shoto, so like Akuma, Ryu, uh, 
Also, a big favorite of mine is Oro. What's that, Oreo? Yeah. So again, uh, I'm trying to style out, trying to make this playthrough as, as entertaining as possible. I'm, I'm not the best at playing arcade mode. I, I play people way better, but yeah. Oh, there's a uh, Remedy with his uh, Sonic Boom. So yeah, Remy is taking place of Guile in this game, and he's a new character. There are three different iterations of Street Fighter 3. This is the last and third one. To me, this is my favorite, and uh, this is this one to me also. I mean, all of them are good. This one to me has the best uh, visuals, the best uh, music. Yeah, I like the soundtrack in this game, and some of the characters. Uh, I guess maybe later on we might get to uh, Hugo. Yeah, Hugo. I, I wanna. I hope I play him in this one. Um, but yeah, Hugo. He's the son of Andor from Final Fight. And or so is like uh, the one of the guys that looks like Hugo basically in yeah. Final Fight. Oh, okay, I thought it was the same one. No. So yeah, it's supposedly Hugo is his son, and they're both uh, modeled off of the real, real life person, Andre the Giant. Yeah, I heard about that. Yeah. So also in in this game, uh, there is certain special intros if uh, a character fights his rival. So if Alex fights Hugo, they have the famous uh, Hulk versus Andre the Giant stare down. Oh uh, yeah, I've seen that. That's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. So uh, again, there are like mini games uh, in this game. That's one of the hidden supers. Uh, so this is almost like the beat up the car in Street Fighter 2. Oh cool, use the super on the car. <laughs> yeah. So this is probably the fastest way of getting through this. Oh my car. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> Hey, Archangel Zero, he was another one of the good Third Strike mm -hmm. players. Was it Third, yeah, Third Strike and Super Turbo, I think they yeah. specialized in. Alpha 3, all of the SNK uh, fighters, KOF, and Fatal Fury. Uh, there's Scene. So yeah, Sean is supposed to be the protege of Ken, Ken Masters. Um, and originally, he was going to be the only, only Shoto in Street Fighter 3. There was not going to be any Ken or Ryu. Uh, so he and now his sister is in Street Fighter Five, is that right? Yeah, uh, Laura, I believe her name is. So yeah, Sean, he's not that good in this game. He's way better in Second Impact. He was like one of the best characters in that game. But I guess they nerfed him for this version. It's funny because I know a guy named Sean. It kind of looks like him too. <laughs> Except this, Sean's still different. So yeah, Sh Sean in this game, he basically acts as. Dan would in the Alpha game. Oh man, Dan. Yeah, he's just a weaker version of all the Shotos. He has he has no Hadoken. Um, he does have a super that's a Hadoken, but it only has one hit. Yeah, I mean, this is laughable right here. Like, if, it was, if this is real, Sean would not stand a chance against Akuma. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, the computer, the computer can be challenging at times, but not, right now it's just being kind of dumb. I had this game in anniversary collection on PS2 back in 2004. Yeah, I think it was the 20th, 20th anniversary. Yeah, yeah. They just recently came out with the 30th anniversary for PS4 and uh, Xbox One and PC. And also there's a Dreamcast version of this game. And uh, uh, like you mentioned, PS2 and there's an original Xbox version. And then a PS3 and Xbox 360 version. There's a Urian or Batista. I mean Urian. So yeah, I have a hard time selecting who I want to play because the stages are so good. I had the choice just now between Yun and Urian. And both stages are amazing. Like this is one of my favorites for sure. And that's his friend. What's his friend's name? Back Yang. Yeah, Yang. That's his brother. So they're supposed to be um, trained by one of the Street Fighter 1 characters. I forget his name, but he's the one that uh, was trained or was trained with uh, Chun-Li's uh, father who was killed. Was it Jen or? 
forget the name. No, it wasn't Gen. It was it was another character. Oh, Gen's not her fault. Gen is uh. Yeah, Gen is just like an, another character in that game. And all, all, right. Alpha and Street Fighter. One. I saw when he was killed in The Legend of Chun Li. That movie was awful. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, the original Street Fighter is so much better. It, the, but the original Street Fighter movie is so bad it's good. Mm -hmm. The Jean Claude Van Damme. Yeah, Raul Julia and mm -hmm. and uh, I think it, was there another big name in there? I forgot. Uh, it might be in it, maybe. Oh, uh, there was um, the singer from the UK. Uh, yeah, I forgot. Her name. Cammy? You play as Cammy? Yeah, or? she played as Cammy. Oh. So yeah, have you seen uh, Assassin's Fist? The live action Street Fighter series? No. Uh -uh. I hear it's I hear it's way better than than the than the movie, but that's not saying like But I don't think you can do a Street Fighter movie series in live action. It Yeah. To me I think the anime is superior the uh yeah, Street Fighter the motion picture. I remember the anime where uh it came out VHS many years ago, like mm -hmm. when a Vega attacked Chun Li. Oh like yeah. She was taking a shower. Classic and, scene. Yeah. Uh, there's Kent Mak Makado, Mak Makoto. Yeah, I remember Makoto's her. another new character in this game. I think the, the new characters in this game is Makoto, well, Remy. I'm gonna say it's all of them. So Sheng Long, or whatever his name is, he was he was Akuma's master, right? Um, no, or that Ken was... Or Ryu's master. So, Ken and Ryu's master was Goken. Uh, Shen okay. Long was uh, the April Fool's joke in EGM. Oh, okay. But uh, yeah, I guess that that's what Capcom's official answer to Ryu's uh, master was Shen Long. I mean, uh, sorry, Goken. Goken. Yeah, that's Akuma's brother. Or Goki's brother in Japanese. Oh, okay. And their master was uh, Gotetsu. Is this also Alex's stage? or? Yes, Ken and Alex share the same. I'm not going to say the same stage because they both have different car uh, colors and different t types of details. But this is Ken's version of that stage. It is one of my favorite songs. You played the 30th, 30th anniversary collection? I have. Uh, it's not a good version of this game. The best, ver the best console version of this game is on the 360. The uh, OE or online edition. I played the 30th anniversary and downloaded it from Steam from my mm -hmm. PC, but man, the super turbo difficulty, I think some of the difficulty settings are off in the game. Yeah, a lot of it, there's all kinds of weird stuff in the game. The game is basically an emulator, so you're just better off playing it on Final Burn Alpha. Or, I mean, that's what I'm playing this on right now, is Final Burn Alpha. That's what they use for uh, GGPO and Fight K. Yeah, and so this is uh, Practice Repair. Yeah, Practice Repair. I'm not that good at this game. Got a farther than I would. I probably would have barely got three right there. <laughs> so oh, yeah, there he is, there Hugo. He is. I, I, I believe I play against him. They're both good characters, but I, was, I just like Hugo a little more. And the stage is really good, too. Yeah. I remember my friend was talking to me, then all of a sudden he looked at my, my TV screen and saw Hugo. He got distracted. He goes, what the? That guy's <laughs> ugly. I think uh, probably the ugliest character is probably Abigail in Street Fighter V. He looks terrible. Like his name is Abigail? Yeah, Abigail. He's uh, one of the bosses in Final Fight. I think it was like a hidden boss. Oh, okay. Yeah, after you the main game. Uh, Sister Abigail? Yeah. So yeah, a lot of the Final Fight characters are named after certain bands. That's why you have like characters like Sodom and let's see who else is in the game. Poison and uh not Andor but Abigail. They're all based on uh, metal bands at that time. I just I like to see Zangi versus Hugo. Yeah. You can you can play that matchup in uh, Street Fighter Four. Oh nice. Look at that giant bird cage back there. Mm -hmm. A cage match back I'm there. I'm guessing this is Hugo's room. And he's almost kind of like a cage. Yeah. Like stuffed animals and toys. Yeah. What's he saying? I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you can understand what he's saying in English either, but they, whatever he was 
babbling about. Yeah. And, and you gotta decipher it. Elena and Twelve. I remember. I remember them. Mm -hmm. I remember Twelve is like I don't know what what he's supposed to be an alien or what. So he's supposed to be. So Necro was a prototype, like super so or super soldier, I guess. And Twelve was like the next step over. Oh, okay. So Twelve can uh, clone himself into different characters and. He's kind of like a T-1000 type of character, where he can mold his body into weapons and stuff. Yeah, he looks like he could be a killer instinct character. Yeah, right. He, he's a really weird addition to Street Fighter. Oh, she she just did a spin a Rooney. Yeah. She just uh, broke dan break, break danced or broke danced. Yeah. <laughs> so she's like a capoeira fighter, it's like dancing martial arts. So for a lot of people, this stage can be annoying because it's so red. Yeah, because the sun and mm -hmm. it's like everything's on fire. And also the music. I, yeah. I personally like the the music in this stage, but some people it gets on their nerves. All you hear is beats in my head over and over. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the beats get in your head. So there are three different versions of Street Fighter Three. Yeah, there's New Generation, which was the first. Uh, Version, their second impact, and then there's Street Fighter 3 Third Strike. Each one uh, including new characters, new stages. Uh, Street Fighter New Generation and Second Impact are really similar. Kind of like how uh, World Warrior is similar to Championship Edition. Now, Capcom liked to do that with Street Fighter. There's like two Street Fighter, uh, five Street Fighter 2s, it seemed like. Yeah. And then three Street Fighter 3s, mm -hmm. and then there's like Street Fighter 4s, and then Ultra Street Fighter 4. And yeah, now there's Street Fighter 5 Arcade Edition, I think it's called. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I understand why they do it. It's, it takes so much work to put in to create these characters. Like, I think this game alone, each character has like 1,200 frames of animation. So yeah, it took, and it's all done in sprites, so yeah, you know. And then each update is kind of like a rebalancing as well. Did you play, what was it, Street Fighter HD for the Switch? No, I didn't play that one. It was Ultra Street Fighter 2, and they added oh, yeah. Violent Ken and uh, Shinokuma. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't get to play that. Oh, there he goes. Oh, I thought that was it. So yeah, this game is still popular to this day. This game came out in, what, 1999? Yeah. Yeah, 99, 2000, well, it's the, what was it, 20th? Uh, 10th In 2009? Yeah, there's yeah. 10th anniversary, yeah. 10th yeah. anniversary. So this game is still being played in Japan, here in the U.S. I just came back from Dallas, and there's a scene up there. Um, so yeah. This game is still going strong. Yeah, and you have the opportunity, please buy the 30th anniversary collection and try this game out for yourself. Yeah, I, that was never. Yeah, my specialty was my, more like the uh, Street Fighter 2 games, mm -hmm. Super Street Fighter 2, and Super Turbo, but and CBS 2. Mm -hmm. uh, but this one, yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, I was. I just could not get too good at Street Fighter 3. Mm -hmm. it was a, I had fun with it though. It's a great game. So yeah, each. Each Street Fighter iteration is, is different than the other. The Alpha games are different than Street Fighter 2 and obviously Street Fighter 3. It's kind of a controversy, like, you know, which Street Fighter game was the best. Each one played very, uh, very different than the other. So I, I like them all, um, you know. Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2 has a place in my heart because it's the first fighting game I've ever played. I was like, the first fighting game I had in Super Nintendo. Yeah. Uh, this one has to be my favorite because just because visually and uh, you know music, the art style, the gameplay, everything in this game is just great to me. I think this is one of Capcom's uh, masterpieces. Uh, Street Fighter 4 came out along like 2008. 
Yeah, 2008, around 2009, somewhere around oh, yeah, there. Yeah, it was a long time. Oh man, Gil, I guess the brother of Urian? Yeah, they're brothers, Gil. <laughs> Gil is kind of a, and again, there's controversy in this game, so. Gil is supposed to be like, I want to say like an Antichrist. <laughs> He's yeah. like a false messiah that type of character, and if you notice, he had he's half red and half blue, so that's supposed to represent Judgment Day, um, uh, where fire is mingled with ice that destroys the earth. I thought he's supposed to represent re Republicans and Democrats. <laughs> <laughs> and he's also uh, part of the Illuminati in this game. So in this game, the Illuminati exists. Yeah, Goku. I remember Rain. He's, I mean, Goku. Uh, Gil, it was pretty hard, man. And yeah. I just remember, uh, yeah, I was, like, I was trying to wonder, I didn't fully know Gil's story, his background. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just knew that he looked similar to Yuri in case they both wore diapers or whatever they were wearing. Yeah. But I remember, man, Gil was pretty challenging to beat. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to lose a few times. Hey, he's, he's overpowered. He has really good uh, super moves. One is Resurrection. Uh, where he gains all of his life back after you beat him. Another one is, uh, I think, Seraphim Wing or something like that. It's like instant death. He just did the Batista bomb. That's yeah. Batista's finisher, too. So I forget their their fighting style. I think it's like Greco wrestling or something, him and Gil. That's like a Super Saiyan. Yeah. I wonder who would win out of him and Ultimate Rugal. Oh, yeah. Uh, surprisingly, I haven't seen Gil in any other game except this one. Yeah, and I kind of wish you could play as him. That would have been a cool... Yeah, they Maybe of, the character wasn't as popular, so they dropped it. Yeah, they kind of allude to Gil in Street Fighter V story mode, but, you know, you never get a chance to beat him. Now, there is Seth in Street Fighter IV. I think he's supposed to be a proto-Gil. Oh, okay. I'd like to see those two fight Gil versus Seth. Yeah. So yeah, I'm just trying to blame him out. Man, Akuma looks tight right here with his white robe and black belt and uh, his hair. <laughs> yeah, his white gi. Looks like a true master. Yeah, normally I pick the special color, and you do that by hitting uh, medium punch light kick and roundhouse, that's the purple Akuma. Yeah. Uh, this one's also a second favorite color. They're frustrating me, who resurrect? I said, man, you're dead. Yeah. <laughs> I wish I had played this <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Where's is, is that a submarine? Oh, University of the UFC. Yeah, I think it's just a random submarine. Akuma happens to be in the ocean. He training destroys on, the submarine. Oh. Yeah, he's he's training on his new super move. <laughs> CPS. That's in reference to. Capcom or cable or yeah, something like that, right? Capcom Play System 3. Yeah. That's what this game is running on. Hey, there's Mean Gene Oakland. Right now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, what? Oh, oh, hold on a minute. Wait, wait a minute. I just received word. Akuma's destroying the battleship. <laughs> so, yeah, the CPS 3 hardware, um, it was supposed to be the next step after CPS 2. Uh, CPS 2 uh, had a bunch of different games the Alpha game, Super Turbo. Puzzle Fighter and all kinds of other games. CBS 3 only had a handful of games. It had Red Earth, all the Street Fighter 3 games, and I think JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. And then they stopped making games for the hardware. Yeah, the one that I played of, of Street Fighter 3 was Many Thirst Strike. That was on the PS2 Anniversary Collection that came out in 2004. Yeah, so again, you can play this game on 30th anniversary or download it. Yeah. So yeah, 
I put I put your name in in the. Uh, oh, you know what's that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This, this game always. This game does have a catchy soundtrack. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. You should look up the arranged version of this song. Um, I don't know why it's not included. In the game. It's 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 available on the PS2 and the Dreamcast version. Yeah. Oh, got a B. Oh, what? Yeah, so you can get up to an A, but then there's also S, and I believe there's an E grade as well. Yeah. All right, so so that's the end of our review of Street Fighter 3, what is it, Fight for the Future Edition? Uh, I think that's what it said in the credits. Yeah, Street Fighter 3. 30, I just call it Street Fighter 3. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the 20th anniversary of its release, uh, was it in the arcades in Japan? Was that? 20? Yeah, it came out in arcades. I believe in 1999, and then in console, I think it came out in 2000. Yeah, Dreamcast. Dreamcast. Yeah, I remember being on Dreamcast. Um, but yeah, Street Fighter 3 was a pretty great game. I was just never good at it though, but but it's a great game, and I love the soundtrack and just the body mechanics is a bit more advanced than was in the Street Fighter 2 games. So, but overall, it's an awesome game. I would give it a uh, nine out of ten. Yeah, I want to give it a perfect score. I think this was one of Capcom's best achievements in that time. I think that was like the golden era until there was a, a fighting game drought until Street Fighter 4 came out. And I, I have a love for all the Street Fighter games, but this one in particular is one of my favorites. Yeah. All right, guys, we're out of here. I'm Ron Moore. I'm uh, Young B or Brian. Oh yeah, you're, you're Young B254 or whatever name you used back then, <laughs> whatever you want to use now. All right, so thanks guys for watching. God bless and take care.